Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Eerie and welcome back to episode 3 of a very chilly hypothermia series. Oh yeah. Between this episode and last, there has been an update to the pack. Oh yes, there has been a update and the update entails doo -doo -doo -doo, around here. We now have wood chippings. On the first episode of this series, I went outside and tried to hammer down a tree using the hammer to get those wood chippings, and it didn't work. The new update gives us wood chippings. Yes! Finally, we can use those wood chippings to go ahead and make some dirt, which we have gone ahead and done. I've done this off camera just ever so quickly. Uh, we've got 10 wood chippings, got some oak saplings, so if we need to get them out of this chest and throw them in our barrels to get some more soil or dirt, we can, as we wish. Back here, we've gone ahead and put a crudible, thrown some cobblestone in there and let it cook up to get ourselves some lava, because we're going to need this lava very, very soon, and I'll show you guys in just a second why. Um, our cobblestone generator, I had to move the snow blocks from this block here, this block, and these bottom blocks, because uh, they kept melting. I believe it was the lava was just melting them, and all the water was just like oozing out everywhere. So I've changed them to the stone bricks, only because if we use cobblestone, we vein mine the cobblestone, it will knock out these two blocks, and uh, we'll have just one big gigantic mess. So I went ahead and put some stone bricks in place. So when we go ahead and vein mine this thing it won't knock those blocks out. Awesome. Um, this corner here is just basically our drinking facility. I'll come over here, get uh, a bucket, scoop up the water, put it into this crudible, and then use those, uh, those bottles and take it out of here and we have purified water so we don't have to use that charcoal mesh or the charcoal filter. And back here, we are going to put a Tinker's Construct room in. Yes, finally. It's time to get into Tinker's. Um, I think this episode we're going to make ourselves a Tinker's Smeltery, which I've marked out on the floor here. And then all this space around, I might put like all our chests and um, all our tables that we're going to use for Tinker's. And possibly some other stuff that Tinker's add in. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I just made this room this sort of size. Only because if we expand, we have the room to expand. So we don't have to keep knocking out walls. And I put a window over here just so we know what's happening outside. And at the moment, we have a creeper and a spider hanging around out there. And the sheep. And uh, I had gone outside and had a look at the sheep. And I completely forgot. Sheep needs grass to regrow their wool. And we needed wool, so I went out and went with some shears. And the sheep that were sheared before hadn't like sort of re walled themselves so that can be an issue so we might have to use um some grass blocks in the near future to get ourselves a sheep farm so they can regrow their wool uh and this area i planned out to put some more sieves in because we have the flint sieved mesh right here and then next door to that i might put just the original sieves inside with just the string and back here i might put like the iron sort of sieves in and then this one could be the diamond because there's different types of meshes uh, if we take a look we have the string mesh which is the original the flint one which we have here um there's an iron stiffened mesh and we have diamond which we obviously need diamonds for and that's quite expensive so this corner probably take quite a while for us to get but at the moment, this should work. And we still have a fire. It's still lit. Nothing's happened, which is awesome. And I've just gone ahead and moved our chests and our furnaces and got some uh, more crafting tables, which is awesome. And back here in this chest, I have gone ahead and got some gravel uh, just by sitting here and veining mine the crap out of our cobblestone generator, which is awesome. We have tons of gravel now. So like I said, on this episode, I want to go ahead and make ourselves a Tinker's Construct Smeltery um, because I think it may be time to start looking into getting a bit of tech. Um, when we have our cobblestone generator, I don't want to keep like smashing all the cobblestone by using hammers. I want to sort of automate that. Uh, and to automate that, I think we can go down two paths. We can either have a hammer from X Nilo or X Compression, 
Uh, auto hammer. Uh, we can't make that one, but we could make this one. That's a thing. How come we can't make the auto hammer? That might be a bug. Uh, we can make the compressed one though. But I'll, I don't really want to make that hammer. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking making a sag mill from Enderio and I just caught one on fire. Damn it, never mind. So we need some sand. And we're also going to need some dust. I think it's dust. Yeah, we're going to need dust. Um, we don't think we need a lot of dust because when you turn this dust into clay, that should be enough. So we've got some sand and do this. It didn't take quite a while to uh, clear out the base. It was actually quite nice to do. Um, but I think this is okay for now. I don't think we'll stay in this base forever. I don't know what I'm going to do with this base. I don't know whether to like, expand outwards or go down or go up. I'm not entirely sure just yet. Um, so we're going to need a bucket. And let's get ourselves some clay. Let's put it in here. Nice. There we go. This is so much easier. Where's our clay? Oh, we are getting our clay. Cool. This. This. I've uh, got five of those. So we need some more. We will eventually automate all this. But at the moment, it's just a little bit grindy, but it's okay. It adds to the fun. Um, our heat levels ain't too bad at the moment. We have our fire, so I keep sort of whizzing past, back and forward past this fire. And it does seem to be keeping us warm-ish. And I have noticed we are missing our leggings, and I thought I put them in our chest on the last episode, and I cannot remember for the life of me of where I put them, because they're not in here now. So we could go ahead, actually and make ourselves some more, which is just this, get ourselves some pants, put those on, and we're good to go. So hopefully that should keep us a little bit warmer, um, possibly, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I thought I could have another hammer around here, probably broke. Right, let's do this. I didn't really need to use a hammer on that, but never mind. Uh, 44 clay, this may be enough, actually. Let's get some grout, cool. And let's spread, mm, let's do this, got some charcoal here, we could do this, 18, 22, let's split that in half, split that in half, put that in there, we put some planks in there, we need to get some uh, coal, but we could actually do that now, we do have some gravel back here, and let's do this, and let's go ahead and sieve some of this gravel in our sieves here. Uh, what's going on here? Are these not flint? What are these? String. Oh, okay. We need to transfer those over. Uh, okay, let's do that now. Let's change those into flint. Um, completely forgot that I didn't change these into flint. So we do this. Let's move these over. To change those shouldn't be a problem now that we have a cobblestone generator let's do this and this let's do another one there and we can change these strings into flint cool one just enough look nice so we can place these back and we should be good to go Yes, look at that. Nice. We now have a nine times of just one sieve. Cool. And we're getting some coal, which is awesome. So we can use those to burn our seed or the, what was that called again? The grout for our smeltery. Um, what else we get in here? We have coal. We've got some flint. We've got some lapis, copper, gold. We've got some iron, lead, and tin. This is awesome. We're now starting to get a little bit of resources coming in now, uh, which is good. And that's why we need the smeltery, because the smeltery will double our intake of our ores. Um, this is this like Ex Nilo uh, mod. It changed from the last version. The last version, when we used to do the uh, sieving of gravel, it used to give us chunks. But for some reason now, it's just pieces. 
And if we do this, it will give us the chunks which we would have got last episode or the last previous version of um, uh, Ex Nilo. Uh, and you just cook this up and it will give us an ingot of iron. So uh, we could just throw this in a um, furnace here and it will go ahead and make ourselves an iron ingot. But I don't want to do that. I want to double this. Uh, did we use all of our gravel already? Holy crap. That's the only thing about having so many sieves. You just go through gravel and uh, sand just so quickly just by sieving like this. So um, I think I might do this through most of part of this series actually. Manually sieving. Because I think it, doing it this way than actually having a machine doing it for you uh, seems to be quicker. Because I think an automatic sieve does one piece at like a slow speed. So if I can do this and get quite a few resources, I don't think we're going to need one. Probably later on though. I'm not saying we won't need them, but this should be alright. What are we doing? How are we doing for this? Uh, we've got some more. We've got 15. Cool. So if we smelted that in our smeltery, we'll get 30 ingots. Uh, that is awesome. So how are we doing for our grout? Nice. Cool. And we've got some coal here, so we can change that into tiny coal, which is from Actually Editions, I think it is. Um, actually Editions, yes. Actually Editions. And put that in there, and that should go ahead and cook up for us. Cool. And we can start making our smeltery here. So we're going to need... I might make a... Uh, should we make a 2 by 2 Let's kind of have a look. Um, three. We could make a three by three. That's kind of big, though, isn't it? I don't know whether we'll have enough resources. Well, we do have enough. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, let's have a look how many bricks we've got. So we've got ten more in there. Got eight there. Seven there. We've got twelve. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be enough. So we could... 3, 6... Do 4? For now? Let's see how we do for 4. I think. We'll try 4. So if we come over here, knock this out. And we put this, this, there. Yeah, we'll do this. We'll do this for now. And once we get ourselves more grout, we can make this bigger. Um, like I said, that's why I made that room uh, quite a big room so we could expand outwards if we need to. And we need ourselves a controller. And we need ourselves a drain with a faucet, if I can do this properly. And we're going to need a tank, which is, we need a piece of glass. How are we doing? This one's almost done. Cool, there we go. Throw a piece of sand in there, and let's do this, and wait for this to cook, lovely, and throw that in the center, and we get ourselves a tank, and we can put this tank probably right there, um, let's put the snow down here, let's put a smeltery controller there, with our drain here, I think that's pretty much it. Let's do this. Cool. Nice. So that is that. Um, with this drain, I'm going to have a hole here, hole here. And we're going to put a basin probably on this side. And then we're going to have a table this side. So we can do all our casts. Um, so we've got a four set here. We could go ahead and get a crafting table in here. I think we're going to need some more grout. We may have just enough. No, we don't. No, we don't have enough grout. That's fine. So we can do this. Let's get a table first. There we go. And let's put this here. Put this on this side. Let's get some lava into this thing. So we've got a clay bucket. But hopefully now we can double our ores, we can go ahead and make ourselves a iron bucket. So it won't break in the future, which is awesome. So we place that in there. Our clay bucket has broken. 
and we got ourselves some fuel in here and let's put some iron chunk ores in there which is nice uh, we're also gonna need have we got any gold we do just need one gold chunk I'm gonna swap out one of these and put the gold in there the gold will act as a cast um, and then we can use the seared brick to go ahead and make a mold and then we can pour the iron into the mold that we're going to make using this gold if that makes sense uh, you guys will see in just a second what I mean um, so we don't have any more uh, have we got any more clay We've got one there that's not going to be enough either two four five six seven ah oh, we're short by one Ah, oh, never mind. That's fine. We can go ahead and get some more dust. Um, clay. If we had a bucket, which we don't, obviously, we could use a bottle. Yes. Nice. We can use a bottle. That'll be fine. Do this and do this. Can we not do that? Oh, okay. I thought we could do that. Or was it in one of these? Uh, what's going on here? There seems to be a bug going on. Let's break this. Hmm. That is very weird. That doesn't seem to want to go in there either. Okay, I thought that might work, but that's okay. That's fine. Um, let's go see how this is getting on. So we have molten gold. Place this in here. Throw the gold on top. The gold will harden. The good thing about this Tinker's Construct version, it takes time for the molds and uh, the ingots to cool down, which I absolutely love. Uh, we have six ingots of iron in here. See, check this out. It takes its time to go ahead and cool down. And we now have the achievement, Acquiring Hardware. Yes, we're finally getting ourselves up in the modern world. So we're gonna need three of these to begin with, because I need a bucket. And let's go over here, get ourselves an iron bucket. Finally, we now have ourselves an iron bucket. It's taken this long to get ourselves an iron bucket. Throw that in there, get ourselves some dust, and get ourselves some clay. And let's go ahead and go and grab ourselves some more grout. And we could do this and this. Yeah, that'll do, that's fine. Um, we could take the tank with us actually. You can pick up your tank for smell to Tinker's Construct from your smeltery. Uh, don't worry about the, the liquids inside, it won't come out. It will store it in the smeltery controller. If you break this controller and you still got liquids inside your smeltery, um, it will delete everything that was in your smeltery to begin with. So don't break your controller, but you can go ahead and take out your tank if you wish, or any other blocks and replace them, and you should still have all of your um, molten iron or liquids inside your smeltery. So we're going to do this and this. We haven't got any more in there. That's fine. We should have some cobblestone around here. I think it might be in the chest, but that's okay. We've got some lava for our tank now. That is the reason why I wanted that lava, because we needed to power our seared, um, our forge here, um, our smeltery. So we have three of those. Let's throw those in. Um, we could go ahead and make ourselves maybe a hopper to hopper things into this controller. And then we'll have like something to pull them out from this table. I think that might not be a bad idea, actually. How are we doing for bricks? 14, cool. So we can go ahead and make ourselves the basin. And put this over here. This basin will act as a block form of um, iron. So if we get nine ingots worth, we can pour it into this. And it will give us a block form of iron, uh, which we should have in just a second when these are finished smelting down. So we have one block and two ingots in our smeltery here. So we can do this, and this will go ahead and uh, do what we need to do. So we have that, and this is almost done. Cool, and we now are in the cooling stage. That is cool, I love that. I think that is absolutely brilliant. You can actually see the textures cooling 
and you can still see the hint of red as it's cooling down and it sort of just fades away. Brilliant. Love it. Cool. There we go. We now have ourselves a block and we can turn those into the ingots. So we have 10 ingots and that is brilliant. So that is working fantastically. Uh, we also going to need some wood. And let's change these into a chest. Might need two of these. I think two is fine. There we go. And let's get those 10 ingots. And we're going to do two hoppers. Cool. So what I'm going to do with these two hoppers is one, I'm going to put one on the side. And on this one, I'm going to have one underneath our table here. I might have it... We could have it facing here actually because if we have it facing this block we can have another hopper under this one once we get some more iron and then it can hop out into like a chest on here i think that might be the best way forward so we're going to need let's get a crafting table in here because we're going to do a lot of crafting in here so we could put the crafting table in this corner let's get ourselves another chest and let's put that right there and put this facing towards the chest got some snow so we can cover this up i won't cover the chest up because we need to gain access to that so if we pour iron in here it should be pulled out and put straight into that chest cool there we go nice exactly what i wanted so we can go ahead and do this we can throw other ores in here so we can put the other iron in here so what will happen is it will go straight into our smeltery once this is done cooking. So that is awesome. So we have semi-automated that. And let me just rearrange some of this. We may need another chest for all of our ores. That might not be bad. I might need two of these. Uh, yeah, we'll get two chests. We'll have a double chest for these we're going to get quite a few and i might put them in here somewhere we could put them in the corner like there so we can like sort of run through with them into our smeltery and we're also going to need some more sieves hmm sieves how do we make sieves again we'll have a check that out in a minute we'll put coal in here and let's go and put all of our stuff back that we don't need this time flint i might put in this chest oh by the way i've just now seen this this is the tiny torch as you can see on the walls here this is from actually additions as well these are cute little things actually um but they don't give us much light as these big torches so if we take that out you can see it's not really giving a lot of light off um, but it, it'll do if you've only got like tiny coal in your inventory and you go ahead and make yourself some little torches if you wish or just like a little decorated block really um, it's up to you whatever you like to do uh, we've got one block so we can go ahead and take that out and uh, so food is becoming a little bit of a problem we are starting to get a bit hungry we have some mun but I think we need to make a farm pretty soon I think a farm maybe in the pipeline very very soon so we could do let's get some wood so we need some slabs and we're gonna need some sticks and let's take a look at sieve uh, sieve if I could spell sieve cool and let's do this take out that dirty water so we got 33 sieves I think that's a bit too much but that's okay that's fine but let's do this this and this that's not bad so that is sort of how we're gonna do this we're also gonna need some string we've got some wool here I might sieve this wool to get some more string and we'll get some bone meal as well cool we have eight bone meal and let's do string here one two three four five six seven and one two three one two 
and then the third one we're going to change into the iron uh, how do we get iron mesh iron mesh we have iron mesh down here which is not the one that we want iron mesh cannot see it let's have a look there it is um, so we need flint stiffened mesh which is obviously flint surrounded this string and then we need six iron so that's going to be quite expensive it's not too expensive but it's quite expensive um, we don't have any more iron things in here do we know so we go ahead and make a couple of them well just one I think uh, let's have a look one two three four five six so we do this with this get flint with this and this will give us the iron cool there we go we have one that will do that's a start um, I can't remember how these work as in what they give us um, let's have a look at the iron chunk to get iron chunk we need these iron pieces so if we use the iron stiffened mesh we get a seven char or oh, seven drops but a 30 percent chance of getting them and a bonus of one luck so that's pretty good um two we have the diamond so that's even worse that's a worse chance of getting it using diamond so we won't use diamond and the flint is a 20 percent chance and one luck so using this one I wonder what the difference between these two are. Uh, do you know? I don't think you can put that in there, can you? Unless it's for the heavy sieve. Uh, this is the original sieve, so it's twenty percent with one drop. That's the flint. Okay, so we're looking on the wrong one. We've got iron stiffened mesh. We've got one drop on the thirty percent chance, and the diamond is one for ten percent chance. So, yeah, the iron is the way to go for the iron uh, what about diamonds how do we get diamonds uh, heavy sieve we just need the original sieve so we need iron stiffened mesh a 1% chance or 0.8% chance of one drop so that's quite low and a diamond stiffened mesh we get a one drop percent on one percent chance or one drop for one percent this is kind of confusing okay so we're gonna need some more of these anyway so that is not a bad thing okay so there's a couple more things that we need to do before I go ahead and wrap up this episode is I'm going ahead and making ourselves some more of this dust I don't think we've got any more left in here we've got 13 cool that's awesome I'm going to use our new sieve the iron sieve here and uh, this will give us the chance of getting ourselves some redstone and glowstone uh, there we go we have our first piece of glowstone um, but I want to get uh, I think it's five redstone if we can get five redstone we already have three we can go ahead and make something which will automate our smeltery even further before we wrap up this episode which will make life a lot easier for us to get ourselves uh, the double ore option um, are we not getting the redstone oh we've got four we need one more come on you can give us the one more redstone is this one gonna give us one there we go cool we now have five awesome that's all I need um, we're gonna need a stick if we have one really I don't have a stick oh dear that is quite worrying okay let's go ahead and make ourselves a stick and let's do this and this which will give us a redstone torch and I have somewhere which I thought I did I do we got some stone which I smelted off camera to make those stone bricks for our generator I'm gonna place them like this with a redstone torch in the center with the redstone on the outside and this will give us the redstone clock um, this redstone clock I think it's from uh, extra utilities I think um, redstone clock 
Uh, it's not there. Clock. Let's have a look. Yes, extra utilities too. Uh, we're going to use this clock to operate our smeltery here. So we have ourselves some iron in here. We've got six pieces of iron. And can you remember when we put this hopper down and it feeds into the controller? And then we have the faucet and then we have another hopper underneath going straight into our chest. Well, if we put this on top of the faucet, this will go ahead and pull out all the iron that is in our smeltery and place it in our cast here. And then the hopper underneath will take this out and place it straight into this chest. So all we have to do is come in here. I may put another chest on top of here so it can just keep filtering through. And uh, we should pretty much have a semi-automated smeltery here and all we have to do is keep an eye on this seared tank but that's not a problem because we have our crudible in the back there I'll have to put a hopper on there or something as well to keep feeding it cobblestone that will turn it into lava and we'll have an unlimited source of lava so we have unlimited fuel for this smeltery here so all doubling shouldn't be an issue um, before I go as well uh, I could go ahead and make ourselves. Have we got a cobblestone to do? And let's do this. We'll get ourselves a lever. So when we don't want anything coming out of here, we can just place a lever on here and it will switch the redstone clock off. So nothing else will be pulled out of the smelter. And when we want it to pull out automatically, just turn it on and it will go ahead and pull it out, which is pretty awesome. I can't wait to uh, check that out uh, and at that guys I think I'm going to wrap up episode 3 here I'm still kind of baffled with these barrels I'm not entirely sure what's going on these should be empty uh, but it's still rendering that it's got dirt in there so that's a bug that I probably have to report back to the mod pack um, creators uh, but at that guys I'm going to wrap up episode 3 here I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and of course if you have be sure to hit that like button down below and um, yeah everything seems to be looking up for us so I'll see you guys on episode 4 when we're going to carry on and try to get ourselves some RF generation up and running and hopefully we can get ourselves a sag mill to go ahead and grind up all of our cobble. So we no longer have to keep whacking this with a hammer to get ourselves some gravel. So it should be fairly interesting to see how well we get on. So I'll see you guys on episode 4.